Hi, hello, this is Muhammad here from Vainbo Technologies. Thank you so much once again for joining us on the webinar today. So uh, we'll give it a minute or two. Uh, we see the people uh, are joining. So attendees are joining here. And uh, in a minute or two, we'll start the webinar. Please stay connected. Thank you. Okay, thank you once again for staying connected. So uh, we'll begin today's webinar here. And uh, before we begin, uh, I would like to give you a small introduction here about myself. As I said, my name is Muhammad, and I'm being here with Bimbo Technologies for the last uh, three years. And I'm, I have played into different uh, roles here, starting from support to sales engineering. So I'll be hosting today's webinar, which is on comprehensive backup and disaster recovery with Bimbo BDR Suite. And uh, uh, before we begin, I'd like to tell you that if you have any questions with regards to the webinar, or if you have any queries related to uh, any other information with related to the product, you can email us anytime or you can chat or you can call our support team anytime and we'll be happy to help you with that. Okay, so uh, as I said, the topic is on comprehensive backup and disaster recovery with Wimbo BDR Suite. Uh, here, uh, I'll give you a small introduction about the company as well before we begin. So uh, uh, we, as Wimbo Technologies, we founded in the year 2002 and uh, we have reached more than 60,000 businesses so far and most of our customers, 70% of our customers from America and 20% from Europe and uh, the 10% from the APAC region. And uh, about the partners, we have uh, more than uh, 4,000 plus channel partners. We are a private company headquartered in Chennai, India. Right, so uh, everyone has a question. Why uh, you need Bamboo BDR Suite? So, uh, in today's environment, you know, the challenges uh, for backing up a virtual and physical environment, it is more difficult and it's also expensive and difficult to manage. So uh, what BDR, that is Vembo BDR uh, solution is, is actually provides, it's, it's, it's a exclusively designed for uh, the environments like physical, virtual, also, uh, for example, like uh, VMware, vSphere, Microsoft, Hyper-V, KVM, Zen, Windows, Linux and Mac by experts in the industry. So we uh, fill a purpose here uh, to be best in the breed of technology and manageable solution, also with the affordable cost. And uh, also we uh, we have the virtual and physical machines backup along with the applications that resides in the system. Also, we provide an optional cloud uh, disaster recovery solution as well. Right, so uh, first we'll look into the uh, recovery time objective that is the RTO. So the we offer uh, one of the best in the industry, which is less than 15 minutes. So in case of disaster of any uh, physical or a, a virtual machine backed up, you can recover the machines and using like, you know, different options here. We have quick VM recovery where you can instantly restore uh, the backed up image into a available hypervisor on the PDR backup server, and you can start working on the machine. And uh, uh, instead of restoring the entire image, uh, you can uh, do an instant file recovery, uh, which I'll, I'll be uh, giving you some more detail in the later part of the uh, webinar, where we'll be having a personalized demo. And uh, also we have a failover and fail back for the VMware uh, backup uh, and replication. And uh, uh, also we provide a universal explorer in case if you want to just uh, you know, do an item level or a mail level restore from the backed up, uh, uh, you know, applications like Microsoft Exchange, SharePoint, SQL, and Active Directory. You can use our Vimbo Universal Explorer, which is absolutely free. And uh, we'll take a look at, at the uh, recovery point objective, that is RPO. So we offer the near continuous data protection. So uh, the automatic uh, backup and replication scheduling is available. So the backup frequencies for all the physical and virtual environments will start from every 15 minutes. And uh, you can assure the RPO less than 15 minutes here. But then we have a backup verification. So uh, the backup data, whichever you backup, either it can be a virtual machine or a physical machine, it should be a, a recoverable uh, data. So if it's not, it's worthless. So uh, we provide uh, the ability to, uh, you know, the backup, uh, the verification for all the backed up uh, virtual machines and the physical machines. So what it will do is the the backup verification, uh, you know, will, will 
actually uh, run uh, the booting of the backed up virtual machine and the physical machine um, in the back end and the screenshot will be captured and it will be sent to the administrator via email on every successful backup. So it can be scheduled uh, uh, as per your requirement. It can be uh, run post completion of every backup schedule or just once in a day. We have efficient storage management. So uh, the ability, this is one of the key feature we have. So we actually use our own file system, which is called as Bamboo Hive file system, which has been efficient cloud file system designed for large scale backup and disaster recovery. So uh, with, we actually called it as a uh, file system for file system. So with this, you will be able to uh, configure your storage uh, as a SAN or a NAS or a DAS. And also there is automatically a scale up and scale out for the storage devices. You can configure that. And we also have the inbuilt version control and error correction and the inbuilt compression and deduplication is also available. And there is encryption uh, applied to it every time when the backup data is being transferred and it when it's at rest. And the migration plan, this is the another, uh, the, the, the best thing we have uh, with the technology we have with the Vainbo High file system. So anytime you, if you have plans to, uh, you know, migrate from a physical to a virtual environment or a virtual to physical environment, uh, well, with the, uh, you know, the build solution, you, you, you can do a migration. So what it actually means is whenever you back up a physical or virtual environment, you will be instantly able to create uh, a VMDK, VHD and raw files for the backed up virtual and physical machines. So you can instantly start migrating from physical to virtual environment and virtual to virtual environment. Right, so uh, we'll take a look at the major products we have. So uh, starting with Bamboo, uh, which is VM backup, all is available in Bamboo BDR suite. So the first one is Bamboo VM backup. So to back up your uh, virtual environment, for example, like a Hyper-V or a VMware environment, you will be able to, you can use this Bamboo uh, VM backup solution. And then you have Bamboo uh, image backup uh, for uh, backing up uh, and bare metal recovery for physical Windows servers and desktops. So whenever you have planned to back up, you know, the physical servers or, uh, you know, desktops, even if the uh, servers are virtually hosted if it's windows you will be able to uh, take a image backup of those machines and then we have network backup solution so uh, this backup solution is typically to backup files folders and applications like uh, ms exchange sql sharepoint active directory from the uh, you know uh, from the windows operating system as well as you will be able to uh, backup mac and linux environment uh, through as a as a file level backup using the network backup solution and there's another one which is online backup solution. So the uh, Vembo online backup is, is typically same as network backup. The only difference is with the network backup solution, you will be backing up to your own locally uh, deployed server. But here with the online backup solution, you will be backing up directly to the Vembo cloud. And uh, there is also SaaS backup solution, which again backups directly to the Vembo cloud through which you can backup applications uh, like Office 365 and Google Apps. And uh, uh, we also have some add-on products here where uh, the first one listed here is Vembo Offsite uh, DR is an add-on service to your Vembo BDR backup server. So the Offsite DR server enables you to add, uh, you know, have an additional copy of the backup data on-site or off-site. So it's nothing but uh, we actually recommend to have a local BDR server to all your image backups. So if you need an additional copy of the uh, local uh, BDR server, you can use the Vembo offsite DR server uh, at agent at your, it can be installed at your, uh, you know, data center offsite or onsite, and you can have a copy of the local backup server. So you will have all the restore options, whichever you have in the local backup server, it, those uh, restore options will be available for you on the offsite DR server as well. And we also have Vembo Cloud DR. So uh, in case if you would like to uh, back up uh, your local, uh, locally deployed uh, BDR server, the backup server to uh, somewhere on our cloud, yes, you can enable the uh, you know, offsite copy and you can point it to our server, the Vembo server, and uh, you can back up the locally deployed servers data directly to the Vembo cloud. 
and uh, then we have Vembu uh, BDR 360 so it's a management tool so where you will be uh, able to uh, manage uh, the and monitor the all your uh, you know the backup the Vembu BDR backup servers which has been deployed in different environments so centralized portal if you have like uh, multiple uh, local BDR servers deployed at diff different client sites if you want to manage and monitor them you will be uh, using this Vembu uh, Cloud DR that I'm sorry Vembu BDR 360 and uh, once it's been integrated with the locally deployed servers all the uh, you know the reports will be pulled up and you will be provided with a login where you can log in and ma uh, monitor and manage all those uh, uh, reports from from the uh, internet itself and we have a Vembu Universal Explorer so as I said it's an agentless software which helps you to restore individual items from Microsoft Exchange or from SQL Server, SharePoint and Active Directory instantly so uh, this tool can be used for instant granular recovery from Vembu BDR managed backup so instead of restoring the entire application or just entire uh, you know backup data you will you will be able to use this Vimpu Universal Explorer through which you can just mount the backup data on the server side and you can point the uh, you know the SQB here or the uh, you know the EDB files uh, to the uh, Windows Explorer and you can restore uh, you know the main level or a, a database level recovery and uh, let's take a look at the architecture here so here the Vimpu uh, PDR uh, suite architecture. This is the main architecture we have here. So starting with VM backup uh, So as I said, it will be typically to uh, Backup uh, VMware and Hyper-V environment. So you will use the Vimbo uh, VM backup solution which will then point to the locally deployed backup server. So all these three backup solutions the first three for example like VM backup or backing uh, image backup or network backup you will have your own locally deployed uh, BDR server you will, which you will point and all the backup data will be stored here to the locally deployed BDR server and uh, the next two backups you see here is online backup and SAS backup to backup the applications and uh, Office 365 and Google Apps where uh, this is a cloud solution where the backup data will be transferred directly to the Vembu cloud and uh, uh, you know, if you need, as, is, as we said, if you need an additional copy of the locally deployed backup server, you can either install an offsite that is Bambo offsite DR agent at your data center and the data will be, uh, you know, the locally deployed backup service data can be, uh, it will be, uh, you know, copied to your uh, offsite DR server. It can be through LAN or WAN. If not, if you want the uh, BDR servers backup data to the, uh, to be, uh, somewhere on our cloud you can enable uh, the option like you know to point it to Vimbo cloud so the locally uh, local backup servers data will be transferred directly to the Vimbo uh, cloud that is to your account which you would be having access anytime and you can perform the restore uh, from your uh, cloud uh, you know the from from your uh, Vimbo cloud account and there is Vimbo portal so this portal is uh, uh, actually, you, uh, whenever you are ready to, uh, you know, proceed further in order to purchase or signing licenses, you will be signing up to Vimbo Portal, where from where you will be able to manage uh, the licenses and uh, your billing. Everything will be managed by yourself from the Vimbo Portal. All right. So uh, we'll take a look at the next slide here. So physical or virtual. So you would be having a question where. Uh, what should you use for the uh, Vimbo BDR local server? It can be a virtual environment, so you can have a uh, the uh, BDR server installed in your virtual environment. If you have a VMware Hyper-V, you can deploy it there. Or if you need, you can uh, deploy it on a physical server itself. It depends upon uh, you know the size of the environment you have. And for for we always recommend for uh, to use a physical um, server for uh, more restore features. So, uh, you know, small business uh, may use uh, the virtual machines for BDR server as well as for offsite DR server. So, right, so uh, this slide explains you uh, on the on premise deployment. So, for example, if you have an environment to back up VMware, Hyper V, as well as uh, uh, to back up uh, like uh, image. Uh, images of uh, the Windows environment and if you also have 
some other clients where you want to back up applications and files and folders you will be uh, deploying all these uh, you know three different uh, clients in, in different uh, machines which you're planning to back up and one local BDR server will be deployed and all these clients will be pointed to the BDR server and all the data will be stored and uh, transferred to the locally deployed backup server and uh, the next one it shows the hybrid deployment it's the scenario one as I explained to you so the uh, the DR site they, I mean you can set up a, a local uh, BDR server in your site at the local environment and you can back up through LAN connections and send the data um, and a copy of uh, the backup servers data via internet to uh, your cloud DR account All right so there is another scenario where you will be having your own off-site uh, location where you can just install the uh, BDR server at the different sites that can be pointed out to your off-site DR server and uh, all the data from the local uh, BDR server will be copied to your uh, off-site DR server so as I said the the restore features on both the local BDR server and on the off-site DR server will be exactly the same. Okay, so there is also uh, an option where you can, uh, you know, uh, have the uh, backup locally backup servers to be, uh, you know, managed from the remote office to the branch office, where you can set up Bimbo BDR server and Bimbo offsite DR servers in both the remote office and branch office and sync backup data between both the locations so that is also possible which can which you can achieve but right, so, so this one it says off-site or remote deployment cloud service provider so for example if you are a service provider and if you want the customer sites that is the local uh, backup servers data at your uh, cloud data centers you can use uh, very well use the Vembo offsite DR agent, which can be deployed at the, you know, service provider's location, and all the uh, locally deployed backup servers from the different clients can be pointed out to your uh, offsite DR server, which is at your location, and the backup data will be copied to your data centers. Data centers. So, in case of disaster for any of your client, if the backup servers goes down, and if you need the data to be restored, yes, it, you will be. Uh, able to you know recover the data from your off-site uh, DR server okay so uh, this shows the cloud backup so as I said we have the uh, Vembo online backup so Vembo cloud servers uh, you know they are hosted in Amazon web services so just install the client agent and backup directly to Vembo cloud via van so for backing up uh, like you know for if you have a couple of clients which you want to back up directly to Vembo cloud you just sign up to uh, you know to online backup.vembo.com. You'll download the client, whichever machines you're planning to backup, and uh, you can backup directly to your Vembo cloud, and you will be having access to your uh, to your account that is a Vembo account, uh, and you will be able to restore the data anytime from the uh, online backup account itself. Okay, so we also have the backup uh, server clustering. So you can easily scale up uh, the backup server when backup load increases and also the backup requests will be equally shared between each backup servers whenever the load is high. So that, that is also possible with the, uh, you know, the BDR server clustering model. Right, like let's quickly jump into the demo. Just give me one moment here. Okay, thank you so much for staying connected. All right, so I have a a demo setup here for the uh, uh, VMware and also for the uh, uh, Hyper-V as well as for the image backup environment. So uh, this is uh, the web console. Whenever uh, you're ready to, uh, you know, deploy uh, the product in in your environment, if you want to test uh, any of the uh, solution, uh, you will be, you will be in need of uh, the the backup server, which you can download it from our website. That is www.bamboo.com downloads, and under downloads, you will be able to uh, see the down installer available for you. So these are the recommended operating systems which we uh, recommend for our customers to deploy the uh, BDR, that is local Bamboo BDR solution. So once it's been installed and uh, deployed, this is how it will look like. So this 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 is the first page you will you will see normally uh, 
uh, you will get a shortcut on your uh, Windows uh, uh, self where this is how uh, it will have a good and hyper hyperlink available okay and uh, once you click that or if you want to use this uh, console it's a web services so you can use any machine in the same network with the IP address in the port 60 60 or 60 61 you can get connected and by default the username and password will be admin and admin and uh, once you log in uh, this is how uh, you it will uh, pop up with the uh, information like VMware, vSphere, Hyper-V, physical image, file and application. So for uh, any environment, virtual environment for VMware and Hyper-V, you don't have to install any client on, uh, you know, on, on any uh, uh, host. So it will be an agentless backup where you just need to um, install this uh, PDR backup server in the dedicated operating system. So once it's been installed, if you have the hosts available on the same network, for VMware, you will just click on Add VMware vSphere Server, where you have to enter the credentials of the host. And once it's been saved, you will be able to see the, uh, you know, the added uh, VMware vSphere available here. So similarly for uh, Hyper-V, it's the same. You have to first add the host, which will then list the host uh, on the uh, console, and you can perform backups. For a physical image, for example, if you're planning to backup any Windows or uh, any Windows uh, servers or desktops, and if you want to have an image backup, a complete image of the, uh, you know, the physical machines or the virtual machines, which ha which are Windows operating system, then you can download this client to that particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, machine, and uh, you can uh, install it. And once during the installation, it will ask, ask you to enter the uh, credentials for the backup server. So once it's been entered, so this client, the downloaded client and the, 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 the client which you install on the physical machines will get connected to this backup server and the data will be transferred to the backup server. Similarly, for uh, for example, if you have clients where you just need to backup files and applications, you will download the, the client available here, the network backup client. It's available here as well as you also have the download option here where you where you will be getting a, a URL where you have different clients available for you for uh, you know for uh, image backup you can download the client from here for network backup uh, for all other uh, like you know uh, Linux and uh, for Mac environment you can download the installer for backing up files and folders from here and uh, also we, we provide the offsite DR server so as I said if you need a copy of the local BDR server you will be installing the offsite DR server somewhere on site or offsite and uh, you can point the uh, local BDR server to the offsite DR server and it, it, the data will be copied from the local server to your offsite server. And uh, uh, we'll we quickly get into the different options here. So let's let's take a look at the uh, you know, the VMware backup first. Just bear with me one minute. So as I said, once it's been installed, this is how it will list. So once it's been listed, you can click on backup. This is how this is for the VMware environment. Once you click the backup, it will list the, uh, you know, the uh, the host with the entire virtual machine. So either you can choose the host level, or you can select individual, or you can just group them up and you can schedule for the backups. We provide the VM uh, uh, disk exclusion. So whichever uh, you know disks you want to include or exclude, you can you can select that. If you want to include only the uh, you know the disk partition you can choose this option so only the the the, boot, the disk partitions will be uh, backing up uh, and leaving the other disks available and if you want to specifically exclude a couple of disks from the backup job you can choose that and you can choose the type of disk which you want to exclude from the backup job and uh, you can add that and you can proceed further right and uh, here you have the uh, frequency, so how frequent you want to configure the backup job. Uh, so as I said, uh, we provide the near continuous backups, which starts from every 15 minutes. So if you want, you can configure for every 15 minutes or you can go for hourly or you can run daily or weekly. So based on your selection, you can configure the backups. And we also provide the additional full backups if you want. Uh, you know the data uh, to be uh, backed up like once in a year or once in a month you can enable this you can choose what time or what month you want to back up and how many uh, you know the backups you want to uh, 
you know uh, save so if you choose like uh, like once in a month for uh, and if you want to store say like seven full backups so it will be like every year there will be one full backup at that particular uh, month and uh, yeah, I mean after seven years I mean you will be able to restore the data for the next seven years so every year there will be a full backup at the configured month I mean and uh, you will have data for for the next seven years so that can be done and uh, proceeding next you have retention so the basic retention uh, which is nothing but if you configure a backup for every hour for example end of the day you will have like 12 recovery points so uh, in order to uh, have those recovery points merged you can choose the restore the retention where you can uh, you know uh, merge all the uh, 12 that is the daily incrementals to uh, three recovery points so end of the day instead of having 12 or 11 uh, recovery points you will only have three so the, the, the data will be merged so it's not going to get deleted it will be merged and you have three recovery points available for you so similarly you can choose up to 99 recovery points it's based on your requirement and then you have advanced retention where uh, you can uh, merge uh, the daily incrementals and uh, you can also merge the weekly incremental and the monthly incremental so uh, all these uh, you know every day uh, if you have like every hour if you're running a backup so end of the day it will be like 12 so it will get merged daily and uh, if it's getting merged daily then after four weeks you have four recovery points which can be uh, I'm sorry uh, I mean after a week uh, if you want those uh, seven days of uh, uh, you know data to be merged it will be merged into weekly so the weekly merge will then uh, merge into monthly so end of the year you will have like 12 uh, recovery points for that particular backup job so that can be set up as well and uh, once it's been configured you also have the application aware settings for example if you have virtual environment where you have where you're running a SQL or exchange backups then you can choose this application aware where you can make a, I mean what, what you're actually doing is you're making the application aware that whenever the application is consistent only then the backup will be performed and you can also truncate the logs as well for all the uh, all kind of application backups all right so once it's been done you can proceed further and uh, here uh, you will be reviewing the backup job and uh, and once it's been reviewed you will be able to uh, provide a name for the backup job so once it's been configured you can proceed next and the backup job uh, will be started uh, for uh, for whichever configuration you have selected and similarly we have for uh, Hyper-V so uh, the, the the options for Hyper-V is similar to what we see what we have uh, seen on the uh, uh, VMware so it will list the uh, you know the host which you have configured either host level or VM level you can choose and the other the settings will be uh, the configuration will be the same as the VMware and you can proceed with the backup and uh, you also have the VM replication so in case uh, if you want to uh, configure the replication job uh, for the critical uh, host or critical VMs you can definitely do that uh, just by uh, you know selecting the VM replication you can choose the uh, the machines or the host which you want to replicate during the case of disaster if you want to make a failure so then you will select the uh, again select the uh, scheduling for how frequent you want to back up and then you will uh, uh, select the you know the target uh, VM uh, I'm sorry the host where you want to uh, configure the, the replication job so once the credentials are entered and saved uh, the uh, the uh, configured VMs for the replications will be uh, you know uh, created on the targeted host so in case of disaster you can perform a failure and uh, you can start working on the uh, the machines which you have performed the VM replication and uh, next we have recovery uh, where uh, you will be able to see multiple recovery options available so the, starting with the uh, VMware backup we have uh, quick VM recovery so this is common for all three backups uh, for VMware for Hyper-V for physical image backups you will be able to perform a quick VM recovery. So in case of disaster or something happens to the, uh, you know, to the source machine, you can go back to your BDR server. You can choose the quick VM uh, recovery and uh, 
you can uh, you know you can proceed further in, in order to uh, you know restore the machine in just few minutes I just want I'll show you that so there is a quick VM recovery so uh, this uh, BDR server has been deployed on the Windows 2012 R2 so I have a Hyper-V uh, available on this particular uh, backup server so I'm choosing the uh, the the recovery point from which time I want to recover the image so I'm choosing the, the machine which I have been configured for the backup proceed next so here it's listing the Hyper-V uh, the hypervisor available so as I said it's a Windows 2012 I have a Hyper-V uh, enabled on this I'm choosing the RAM to be specified for the machine which I'm to I'm going to uh, you know perform a quick recovery so proceed next it's showing the configuration details restore now and when we click OK the uh, machine uh, will get instantly uh, created here and you will see it's getting started so so this is the machine which I have configured for a quick VM recovery and uh, it shows the, the time and the, the date uh, for which I have performing the recovery so you can get connected and uh, you can start the machine instantly and you can start working on that and whenever you start uh, the uh, quick VM recovery and when you work on that all the changes will get uh, you know saved and uh, uh, will be available for you uh, to uh, you know to restore the data uh, whenever you you perform a quick VM recovery okay so uh, We'll take a look at uh, different options, different other options here. So, uh, for for example, for VMware, uh, you will be able to perform a recovery on uh, on a on a VMware environment as well. So, for example, I'm selecting the uh, the the, uh, the backed up machine, and for VMware, uh, it will it will give you an option to uh, choose VMware environment. For example, if you have multiple hosts available on the same site, and if someone uh, you know if you if you want to restore the backed up virtual machine from one VMware host to another one in case of uh, disaster you can choose that option and you can select the target VMware server and uh, once you save the configuration uh, you will be a, a, the, the, the backed up machine will be uh, you know restored onto a targeted uh, VMware uh, host All right, similarly there are a couple of other options available so as we said if you want to perform only uh, a a, a restore uh, for uh, you know for uh, for example if you're backing up an image and if you want to restore a couple of files and folders you will be able to do that just by uh, clicking on restore so it's a VMware backup so you have file level recovery which you can choose next and you can select the time from which you want to uh, restore the file so I'm selecting one of the restore point and I have only one uh, you know machine which I have configured for the backup and it has only one disks available so push next so uh, I'll show you before I click on restore so currently there are only three uh, uh, you know the the, the 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 drives available here on the physical machine this is the BDR servers uh, drives available so when I go back and uh, when I click on restore now and click OK so what will happen is the the data will be uh, mounted to the uh, disk management automatically and the drives will be available here for you see so this drive is one I mean the new one which has been mounted here from the uh, you know from the uh, backed up VMware uh, you know image and uh, you will be able to explore the data and uh, you can perform a file level re uh, restore for the backed up virtual machine instead of restoring the entire data all right, so uh, similarly, there are a couple of couple more options available there. Just bear with me one minute. All right, so there's also disk level recovery, which you can perform for VMware backups instead of restoring the entire uh, machine or the uh, for the restore, you can select the disk level restore and uh, you can choose the restore point and you can select the disk which you want to uh, restore and you can select the target uh, you know uh, 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 details where to which VM you want to perform uh, the disk uh, restore and uh, there is another option which is uh, uh, which whenever you are planning to you know migrate machines from 
from one environment to different environment you will choose this option which is download where you can instantly download the uh, you know the backed up uh, image data into different formats so you will choose the restore uh, location and here you have the option to instantly download the data in whichever format you want irrespective of uh, the environment which you have backed up so you if you back up vmware or hyper-v or a physical disk image you will you will get all these uh, five restore uh, you know formats which you can download instantly and you can start creating a machine into different environment so just by selecting the type of format and proceeding next the data will be downloaded for that particular uh, backed up image and you can start con migrating from one environment to different environment instantly right so uh, there, there are much uh, about the restore and uh, uh, we also have the reports as we discussed there is a image verification report which you can set up and uh, which which you will have the uh, you know the boot uh, the booting of the uh, image backups performed in the back end and uh, the the the, uh, the screenshots will be sent to the uh, administrator which has been configured here for their uh, you know management right and uh, we also got the uh, storage management as we discussed you can add the network drives like SAN, NAS or DAS uh, for the storage repositories just by adding uh, you know adding network drive you can enter the credentials of SAN or NAS and you can save that so the back data will be uh, you know directly transferred to the storage repositories and uh, we also got the group management where you can uh, group the uh, you know different clients uh, and uh, you can manage them uh, which option this is the latest option which has been available where you can add a group and in that group you can add different clients which has been connected to this PDR server for easy to manage and off-site copy management as we discussed if you want the local BDR servers data to be copied somewhere on onto your onto your cloud or to rainbow cloud you can choose that for rainbow cloud you can leave this option selected and you can save the settings so the data will be uh, you know uh, copied uh, directly to your rainbow cloud if you have registered uh, your backup server to your rainbow portal and you have my own data center which is nothing but your uh, you need to provide the offsite DR uh, offsite uh, DR service credentials here which has been deployed at your data center and uh, once it's been saved the copy of the local backup source data will be transferred to your uh, local I'm um, sorry to, to your offsite DR server and uh, apart from that we have server management so it's nothing but you need to register the server in order to uh, you know after the trial expires in order to uh, get the uh, you know uh, the uh, options like uh, working for offsite cloud DR and for uh, managing the licenses you need to register uh, the, 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 the backup server the rainbow BDR server to your rainbow portal account which can be created through rainbowportal.rainbow.com anytime and uh, apart from that uh, there are a couple more options like manage virtual drive and client management user management where you can add multiple users to the uh, to, to who can be who can access the the web console and also the server seed migration is available and, uh, and so under settings you have email settings where you can set up the uh, reports for every uh, uh, you know the backup job whenever the backup job is successful or uh, missed or uh, or if there is any failure the data I mean the reports will be sent to the configured email address and so automatic software upgrade it's nothing but if you have multiple clients deployed and if there is any uh, up update available from our side you can add the bills here and uh, the, the clients will be automatically updated by just pushing the uh, you know the bills which has been added to the uh, web console here right so uh, I, I hope I have uh, covered covered most of the part here with regards to the uh, BDR uh, Rainbow BDR suite. And uh, if, if, as I said, if you have any any questions with uh, regards to the uh, product or uh, with regards to the licenses, or if you have any technical questions, if you want to get it clarified, you can reach our team anytime. Uh, we are available here to uh, you know through uh, chat, through email, as well as through. Uh, phone call and uh, we will be glad to help you with that all right just bear with me one minute here I see some a couple of questions here which I, I, I'll, I'll try to answer just bear with me okay so uh, 
I see the first question here from Michael Grady. Uh, he says like, can we use the product to back up our clients to a different private cloud? So uh, Michael, for now, uh, we do not have an option uh, where you will be uh, uh, provided uh, an option to uh, back up your clients to a private cloud. However, I'll, I'll, I will check with the uh, engineering team if there is any update available. I'll definitely share you uh, the information through email. And uh, the next question you have is, can you have online backup uh, go to private cloud uh, of Vimbo instead of Vimbo Cloud, I guess. So um, I, I think it's the same question. So again, I'll, I'll definitely check uh, that with my team here, engineering team. So uh, I'll, I'll drop you an email if there is any option available. And if, if there is some, some option available, I'll let you know how to enable that. And uh, you can proceed with that further. But however, if you would like to test with the uh, Wembo Cloud, you can give it a try where we are just charging like five cents per gig for the storage, so which is very cheap. And uh, for first 10 GB, it's absolutely free for testing for the next 30 day trial. So uh, you can sign up to online backup.vembo.com and you can give it a try. So uh, I have another question from, I'm sorry, from Ramesh where it says, he says, uh, can the users access their files while the uh, route restore is running? So uh, absolutely, I mean, uh, you if you have the access to your source machine, yes, you will be able to access uh, the files at any time, and uh, uh, there there shouldn't be any. Uh, you know any any problem to restore the files where, I mean to access the files while restore is running even when the backups running you, you you wouldn't be having any issues accessing the files because we will be using just a snapshot to uh, back up the files so it's real it's not going to affect the production environment right so uh, thank you uh, once again for everybody uh, whoever has joined the webinar uh, today's webinar and uh, as I said, if you have any questions, you can reach us anytime. We'll be glad to help you with that. And there is a 30 day trial available for you anytime. If you are ready to test the product, give it a try. We have a lot more features coming in uh, on the way. So uh, there will be updates available uh, in, in future with uh, more enhancement uh, on the product as well as on the features. And thank you once again for joining us on the webinar and you all have a wonderful day. Thank you, goodbye.